Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Suelen Boma. For you that don't know me yet, and I'm doing weekly pregnancy videos and updates for you guys. And I'm gonna talk about my 10 weeks of pregnancy update. And this was, I think, the most terrible week of my whole life. To be, I'm, I'm not being dramatic, okay? I know that people uh, tend to be more dramatic during pregnancy, but Seriously, I've never felt so terrible in my entire life and it's not about my last week we talked about we talked about the allergy issues I was having uh, concerning the dog and probably the carpet that aggravates that but this week I actually my 10 weeks of pregnancy I got sick and it was not just a little thing it was like sick sick and like I said, I've never had anything like that. So if you are pregnant and you get the famous flu, stomach flu, um, this video is for you to sympathize with you. I know what you've been through and it's really hard. And you go, you're gonna get through that. And I will share with you how was my experience and what things that really helped me. And if he, I can say help a little bit so I uh, I hit my 10 weeks of pregnancy on a Friday always on the on Fridays the previous day on Thursday night I noticed uh, my Samuel my toddler he vomited after dinner and that was it the whole day he was acting normal he like I didn't even think he was sick or nothing he was just acting normal but he vomited well, I don't know. I didn't know what you think. And was he was around 5 p.m. and uh, after that, put him to bed and everything normal. And I wasn't sure why he vomited. Maybe something he ate. I thought, but I never associated with what was gonna, uh, what we were gonna have later on. The next day, which was the same day, I hit my 10 weeks of pregnancy. It was a Friday morning, and in the morning I had breakfast because I didn't know I was sick. And then after breakfast, um, it was late morning, like 11-ish or something, and I started feeling nausea. And it was like a severe nausea that I started having. And that nausea just escalated and escalated and escalated. And then by the time it was uh, about 12, uh, like lunchtime, I, I just had this strong nausea and then I started vomiting. When then I started vomiting, uh, I didn't stop and I was lucky that the day that I got sick my husband was home I'm glad I'm glad that he was home and I vomited like so many times like eight to ten times and I basically emptied my stomach everything that I had from whatever the, that day or the previous day, whatever I had in my stomach, I emptied out when I vomited everything. And even the bio and everything I vomited. And uh, my husband gave me some charcoal because he thought that could, he knows that really helps to avoid vomiting. And so we mixed some charcoal, powder charcoal in the water cup and even that I would not hold down, I like just vomit the water and charcoal and I couldn't even drink water. Like I noticed that even if I drank a little bit of water, I would vomit it. So the only thing I wanted after vomiting eight to ten times, I wanted to rest. And so that day of Friday, it was over. I had to stay laying down the whole day. It was just bed and bathroom, bed and bathroom. And then after vomiting, then I started having diarrhea. So that was the end. It was everything that I had it in my body. Whatever I didn't get from vomiting was from diarrhea. So I was completely empty by the end of the day. Uh, but I was feeling relieved that I did. Uh, like every time I would vomit, I would feel better. But then it would go back the nausea again. And so it was just like a cycle and it was really bad and by the end of the day I had a terrible lower back pain and uh, terrible uh, abdominal pain as well and 
you know that was like I didn't know what was going on yet it, so what I did is I called the doctor that was on call in the hospital because the office was already closed by Friday evening and I think my my doctor is only Friday on, until 12 and I started getting sick after 12 so he was already closed so I called the hospital and I asked for a doctor on call to call me and he called me back and I explained what was going on and he told me that I probably got the flu the stomach flu and he prescribed me some nausea medicine he said that hopefully this medicine will uh, uh, help you not to vomit and that will keep you hydrated because if you vomit too much our biggest concern is that you're gonna get dehydrated if you vomit too, way too much so I took the medicine um, twice so I took at 7 p.m. and then at 2.30 a.m. and then uh, I also took some Tylenol because I was having that pain it was like excruciating pain my back pain abdominal pain so I also took some Tylenol and then Saturday morning I just did not have anything like for breakfast I was just not feeling well and I just drank water and water and water that's like Gatorade and anything that could keep me hydrated that's what I mostly water and Gatorade and that's what I would drink and Saturday the diarrhea continued I um, I had some nausea medicine in the morning as well so I took three pills total of nausea and I didn't vomit anymore in the in the evening I felt like more bloated and I lost a lot of weight whatever I whatever I gained the pregnancy I lost it because I was pre-pregnancy I was 105 pounds before getting pregnant and I went to the scale that in the bathroom and I was 105 again so I just lost everything um, that I had gained during that pregnancy until 10 weeks uh, so at dinner I had some chamomile tea to calm down my abdominal pain and calm down like internally the stomach or you know and the only thing I had was rice, like white rice, to because you know that white rice is something that constipates, and because I was having diarrhea issues, so I took and I ate white rice to avoid continuing having diarrhea. And I just stayed in bed the whole day, all Saturday, Friday and Saturday, I stayed all day on bed, and it was just terrible. And by Saturday night, then I started having diarrhea and abdominal pain. So then Saturday night, I had a terrible Friday and Saturday, and by the end of the day, he started having the diarrhea and abdominal pain. So I guess he got it, whatever I had of the stomach flu, he, he got it. And then on Sunday, I woke up a little bit better, much better than Friday and Saturday, and so I mostly whatever I, I took chamomile tea or water and all the fluids all, everything that I was taking for liquids I made it and gave to, to Daniel. We also took something that really helps which is water, lemon, a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar and we took the uh, hot it's not warm water with lemon, uh, salt and sugar and it's supposed to really help you avoiding vomiting and uh, so we took that as well and basically the Samuel he he did vomit again on Sunday and but he mostly he had the same thing as me he we ate uh, white rice potatoes carrots just things that really constipates to try to keep Food and try to avoid the diarrhea and then Saturday, uh, Sunday then it was really bad but he wasn't as he he didn't get to the point of being as bad as me he uh, he's 
stomach flu was less severe than mine and I'm imagining mine was so severe because I'm pregnant and my uh, immune system is giving priority to the baby and I'm probably less priority so I, I'm more immune compromised I'm guessing so it hit me really really hard on Monday I started feeling much better in the morning I uh, still had some discomfort in digestion and I tried to eat a burrito like I tried to eat normally because I thought that I, I felt much better so I'm gonna try to eat and it just didn't work I, I just felt really really better after eating so I, I think my body was really not prepared yet for me to have a full meal and um, Samuel at the same time had some diarrhea so um, everybody started having issues like my husband Samuel and I and by the end of Monday I started having some heartburn to complete the the, 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 the whole scenario I had a terrible heartburn so my heartburn was so terrible that at 10 p.m. like I couldn't like I couldn't sleep anymore I was getting overwhelmed I was already tired sick from the whole weekend and then I had to go to Walmart to get some um, heartburn tablets for me and I tried sitting up I tried sipping water I tried chamomile tea I tried abdominal massage and nothing really solved the only thing that really solved was those antacid tums and that's the only thing that really helped me and I could sleep then Tuesday I felt I felt okay no issues so far um, had the heart burn again took the pills the tablets again and i'm not sure if it is it's pregnancy related or not like at this first trimester i never had that during the other pregnancy i know i had in the third trimester which is common but not in the first trimester so that was a little odd for me uh but it was really it was really difficult because i got all those symptoms at the same time and then I just continued having feeling a little bit better every day. On Wednesday I felt a little better. Try to eat some pasta um, with tomato sauce and made me have a terrible heartburn. So I had to stop eating it. On Thursday I tried to do something else like brown rice and uh, beans. I tried to do a palm heart pie that is a Brazilian dish and. Um, the baby barely ate so I could see that baby was also not 100% well and uh, just be basically Thursday I think was the first day I tried to eat normally and, and I didn't have lots of issues like I, I was able to have breakfast and basically that's it my whole 10 weeks of pregnancy was just getting uh, recovered from this stomach flu as I told you like I just never felt this way before it was terrible i was on bed for two days the whole day then you had to take care of samuel for me uh the days that he wasn't that he was okay and then on sunday when he got worse i was the one taking care of samuel and taking care of him though i wasn't completely recovered from sunday to thursday i would feel every day a little bit tiny bit better but i still was limited to what could i eat or what well what things that that would make me feel heartburn or things that would make it, me have some discomfort like a abdominal discomfort but I'm glad to tell you that it's over it's over and really the only thing that really helped me was the first thing is rest like you really need to rest because it, you know it, your body needs to concentrate on uh, getting that getting that flu the stomach flu out of your of your system so if you if you rest it's really good for your body to be able to concentrate on that instead of you doing other activities your body will have to uh, spend energy on other things that you're doing so rest for me was very important the first two days at least and the other thing that is as as important as rest is keeping hydrated being hydrated is very important, especially if you're pregnant. You can have lots of issues if you're not hydrated. 
and it's, it can be very dangerous. And uh, I, I can understand if you can't keep it down the first day, that's what happened to me. You try little sips of water in the beginning and progressively if you have no issues with vomiting and, and if you are able to take a nausea medicine and that keeps you, keeps you uh, your water down or any other fluids. For me, water was essential, Gatorade was essential, um, and that's pretty much what I, the only thing I would drink for the first two days. Um, eating was really, really difficult, and it really depends on each person, but I was feeling bad the whole Friday and whole Saturday, and only at dinner on Saturday I had just white rice, so that was very, very little bit of food. And Sunday, I just had a little bit of food, but it, as, as I told you, it's just little, little. I just start eating very little. And that's that was it, guys. That was my update. I know it's a sad update, but I'm glad to tell you that I'm much better now after it's gone. And I'll see you guys next time for a next pregnancy update. And see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.